hi my loves welcome back to my channel my name is margarita for those who don't know me and for those who do welcome back my loves it's christmas and i love a good festive time of year i just did a video if you haven't seen it it's the one before this one where i told you about affordable hermes gifts you can kind of buy into in order to impress the people in your life if you're an hermes lover you can start your collection there and all that good stuff since you guys liked it so much i thought i would create this video right here and this one is all about affordable luxury gifts from some of the most expensive or luxurious designer brands out there one of which is chanel the other is dior and the third is louis vuitton i kind of wanted to theme this one in a french way if you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to release the italian selection in the next video so let me know Give me a like if you liked this one and then we'll get onto the Italian brands as well because they've got some amazing stuff. Before I really got into this and snooped around and found out what you guys could get for under $100, under $200, under three and four and 500, I didn't know the amount of selection that is out there. These brands have beautiful pieces that really, really will impress your loved ones if they open those presents up under the Christmas tree and even your friends. Some of these things are truly affordable and I'm not talking about the makeup section. This is also leather goods, jewelry, everything. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I normally don't say that, but it would be lovely if I could meet the new year with 10,000 subscribers. That would make me really happy. So yeah. And also that way you can see my mum if you subscribe and you don't know her. I will leave a list of my mum videos down below. She is the most inspiring slash hilarious person. I am sure if you read the comments, you will see people cannot wait for her to come. She is a diva. She should have been on Dynasty, I am sure. But without further ado, and stop chatting Margarita and follow me on Instagram. By the way, it's all the Blonde Avenue. Let's get into the video and we're going to start with Chanel. <sighs> when your water matches your dress. Lemon water always in always, darlings. Okay, so Chanel came out with a collector's edition red bottle Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Parfum. Now, the reason why I put Chanel as the headliner in this video is because I love, love, love that brand. Coco Chanel is such an inspiring woman when it comes to fashion, style, and just being a trendsetter. I recently read a book about her and other people who kind of changed their generation, and I got really, really inspired. She's a very awesome woman. So if there's someone in your life who loves Chanel the brand and also loves movers and shakers, I would get Chanel number five red bottle limited edition it is stunning so christmassy and red so gabrielle chanel when she opened her store and started to sell her fashion was one of the first designers ever to also introduce a perfume it wasn't done before so she told the nose of her brand who she just recently employed in 1921 to create a fragrance and because he got them from the lab they were just named number one two three four five and so forth she loved the essence of number five she said it's the true essence of a modern woman and she started to put them in her store but she wouldn't tell women that they were for sale what she used to do is put them in the bags when women used to buy one of her pieces fashion items i mean and she would pop them in the bag until everyone would start to talk about this mysterious perfume so there's this really cool story behind this fragrance that you can also tell if you do some research once you gift it to someone or you can get it for yourself i find the box that the fragrance comes in really really pretty so it's definitely a great gift the retail price for this bottle is 278 dollars yes it's an expensive fragrance but it's a limited collector's edition and if somebody in your life loves chanel but you can't afford to buy them something chanel this is one of the most expensive brands there is then this is a really good way to go the next item i would suggest is the rouge coco hydrating lip color i have a couple of these and there are some colors that i love it i'll tell you in a second what you can do is you can get a lipstick for somebody and you can also add something to it like a highlighter or something like that so that makes a really beautiful gift for all your makeup lovers. The lipstick retails for around $53, and I love the colors of Coco, which is the classic, classic Coco Chanel Red. Dimitri is a deep red. It is one of the first ones I got. It's really smooth, buttery, and it's just a really feminine, dark red fragrance. Fragrance? Lipstick. Vera is a pinkish nude with a mauve undertone. I love that color as well. And Mademoiselle is the classic, younger, nude, summery lip that that person can wear the next summer, or even in winter. I love a nude color in winter. I love 
pink all year round anyway but you can combine it with a highlighter that Chanel just released and it's the Lion highlighter it's the Chanel Lilian or the Lion I'm not going to speak French in this video guys I can't I can't even begin um, it's the Lion highlighter it's got the classic uh, Mademoiselle Coco Chanel Lion embossed on it it only comes in one color but it's a beautiful gold and can you imagine someone opening that under the tree they get the highlighter and a classic red lipstick which is what I suggest probably Dimitri or Coco under their tree and it will make them so happy the highlighter is $93. The Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum Spray and Twist is a really, really, really cool item to gift someone. It retails for $188 and it's just super cool because you get three, I believe, in that collection and it's really good for anyone who travels. I love the light pink and the white and the gold aesthetic. So if anyone has that kind of aesthetic in their home, I'd suggest getting that for them. Then you can step right into the actual fashion part of Chanel if the person you're gifting isn't a makeup lover. And I'd suggest the Silk Bandeau. It's like a twill, six by 120 centimeters, I believe. And it comes in several different colors. It's $300 and it comes in four different colors. And it's a way to wear that Chanel brand around your waist, around your neck. I love it when Chanel styles, styles it around their hair. If you put a ponytail, I love that look. And I've worn that before. I normally wrap Hermes, but definitely a really cool way to get into the Chanel kind of silks. And they're really, really pretty. I love that aesthetic, that Chanel puts into their silks also. Then you also have a really cute Chanel bandana. This is perfect for someone who loves the brand, but you're not sure what their style is. They have the prominent Chanel branding on them. It's a really cool way to buy into the brand. They're 60 by 60 centimeters and they retail for $330. Now onto my favorite part, costume jewelry, earrings. Chanel have done a few earrings which are so stunning i love a little earring these are dior so these aren't chanel but we're going to talk about dior soon and this is a really cool way to gift someone chanel jewelry chanel is ridiculously expensive when it comes to even their costume jewelry i love their brooches but they go from 600 700 800 dollars upwards so if you've got someone in your life who loves chanel and has maybe an office job and wants to inject some of that glamour into their everyday wear then these are a really good way to go they have really good color systems to them systems colorways to them they retail for 500 dollars. yes that's on the expensive side of the spectrum of this affordable chanel gift guide and it is affordable for chanel so that's Context people, context. I didn't know this, but you can also get the Chanel C earrings, the two C's, the two C's, the two C earrings, which I've always wanted for around $520 and they have them right now. So if you really wanna make someone happy, I'd suggest getting those because those are classic and you can wear them with everything. If you wanna get into the leather section, you can buy someone a wallet with calf leather grain in a navy blue color for around $580. Yes, it's on the expensive side again, I promise. I'll get cheaper in a second, especially when we go into Dior and Louis Vuitton, but I don't really know that you could probably buy something from Chanel for that price point. And then I love this metallic card holder. It retails for around $500, and I think it's so chic, so metallic, so Christmassy, so festive. Love it. And I also really love it in this beautiful rose pink color. So that's really for that girly girl in your life. Anyway, we're done with Chanel. It's very, very expensive. Mm. We're onto Dior and Louis Vuitton. You're going to find a little bit more affordable stuff on this side of the spectrum. Dior is one of my favorite brands. It's so deeply feminine. When you come into their store and you see those light pastel grays and those golds, oh, it's so amazing. The first way I suggest you go when you go into Dior store is to fashion jewelry. These brooches are going to spice up any of your outfits. Gold's really in. It's kind of that brushed metallic gold. And these flecks of sparkle are so Christmassy. And just guys, if any guys are watching this, girls love a bit of sparkle. I don't know any girl who wouldn't like to receive jewelry. I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be diamonds. Guys always try and buy practical gifts like an iron. I think I got a pan. I think I got a pan for one Christmas from my husband. A frying pan. Honey. No. Anyway. The Ja Dior Dior brooch comes in these different varieties and that Dior wasp is really, really cute. My mom has sneakers with that wasp on them, which I'll come seek him stuff for me, but I'd love to wear it on a brooch. I think it looks so pretty. There's also hair slides, which are so cool right now. What's trending is to have your hair out at the moment and put a hair slide right in here and take an Instagram photo and put a little Kira Kira filter on there so it sparkles and everyone loves that right now. So both the brooch and the hair slides retail for $390. And people won't know. They, they'll think that you went and bought 
Dior for thousands and thousands of dollars for them. No. The Sue L'Etoile earrings are gorgeous. I love a long dangling earring and gold. Again, stunning love. They have little hearts on here and little CD pendants hanging. It's all very, very beautiful. It's all very all year seasonal around. Why is there a boat going past my house? Back and forth, back and forth. I bet you never heard anyone say that. People normally complain about traffic, but here in Australia, boats keep meandering. <sighs> So those retail for $390 too. I, tell me one woman who wouldn't be excited to receive those. Tell me one. You couldn't, could you? The Dior tribal earrings, which I'm wearing now and I wear all the time. All I wear is these earrings. They go with everything, everything. These earrings go with everything. You can buy at Dior for $410. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what a good, good, good. I actually think Dior is my favorite costume jewelry, favorite costume jewelry. They also have asymmetric earrings, which is so deeply cool. They're both fashion, feminine, and on trend. They're just Dior, fashion jewelry. You got it. Anyway, let's get into silks and scarves. In Dior, you can buy a long, thin, fashion scarf that they put around their hair, on their models, around the neck, around the waist, again, for $190. Guys, I really love this colorway, by the way. It's so stunning, and you get that Dior kind of black and white logo that I just love. So I think that's a really cool gift for a fashionista. If someone's really into fashion, that's a really cool gift because you can wear it around your bag. You can wear it in so many ways, and the price point is pucker. Then you can get a 90 by 90 um, Dior scarf if that's your jam for about $395 or something like that. There's different colorways. They go from about $300 to $390. So again, if it's a woman in your life who um, loves a scarf moment, maybe someone a little bit older, I would suggest you go straight there. Now, let's get onto a very exciting proposition. The Dior saddlebag got really popular suddenly when I think Dior did a campaign and sent it out to lots of bloggers. Lots of bloggers, except for me. Dior, I'm waiting. <laughs> I love the saddlebag. Um, the Lady Dior bag was never really up my alley. I didn't really like the, the keychain that they had on it and the shape wasn't really for me, but the saddlebag was amazing, as was the Diorama. I love, I love the Diorama with a passion, with a strong, strong passion. The Dior Oblique saddle holder is $390 and it's so cute, so on trend right now with what Dior is putting out there. And I think if anyone who follows blogs and loves fashion bloggers is in your life, that for them will be everything. The Diorama card holder comes in at 340 and the Lady Dior at 380. So it's kind of a way to buy a mini version of that bag for that person, if you know what I'm saying pretty cool. Then the Dior Oblique saddle purse with this little D tail, like with the letter D tail in gold. I mean, when I saw this, I nearly bought it online for myself, but it's Christmas. So I need to be buying presents for my mom, cats and husband. Yes, I buy my cats Christmas presents. Wow. That noise really isn't going to stop. Anyway, never mind. So that retails for $340 and I'm just obsessed with it. Look at the color. Look at the style. The Dior saddlebag. I mean, if I could get my hands on a vintage one, I'd be so, so, so happy. Guys, comment in the comments below if you're obsessed with the Dior saddlebag or if you're like, mm, take it or leave it, take it or leave it. Then, guys, I'm so excited about this one. The Dior Club Visor. Oh my God, when I saw this, I about lost my mind. This thing is UV and AV protected. It's gonna, it's gonna keep your skin young. Maybe I'm obsessed with it because I want to be forever young, you know, or maybe it's because I live in Australia and I know the damages of the sun. Even when it's cloudy like it is today, the sun is still trying to kill you guys is just facts. And this cap is so cool. It's so sport luxe and you're gonna look obnoxious as hell. And so what? I think it's just the coolest thing ever. There's a sea eagle flying. A sea eagle flying above my window, being chased by other little birds. Anyway, this visor retails for $385 and I can't think of anything cooler in my life. I think caps and hats can look a bit mm, iffy um, unless they're worn with like sports attire. I think they look really cool with ripped denim and things like that. But if you're going on the luxury like dressed up side, this visor, guys, I am so obsessed. It's so obnoxious and so, like I said, dynasty and ridiculous that I, I, I need it in my life. I just need it. Wait, is this a gift guide or is this what I need in my life? Wow, I kind of lost the plot there. Everyone you know needs it. The Dior belts retail at around 500, 550, 580, again on the high side, but 
you wouldn't always know that you could afford Dior for, for that kind of price. And um, there are really cute feminine pink versions. And there are also the Defense belt, which has got the big Dior logo, which is kind of a bit more in your face, punchy and masculine. And I love that. Then if you have a beauty lover in your life, I would suggest getting the Lord of East cream. I think that's how you say it. But anyway, just look for that gold bottle. I think when someone opens that on Christmas, they're going to be so happy. It comes in the eye cream and it comes in the facial cream. They've got their own formulas that I'm not, you know, totally aware of. Every brand has their own formula, which they don't disclose, but it's supposed to be great and it's Christmas after all and it just looks so beautiful. I think anyone would be happy to receive that if they're into creams and beauty, if just to put on their vanity. Cream is $230 and the face cream is around $450. Guys, that's it for Dior so far. So let's get into Louis Vuitton, which is French, right? It's a French brand. So we're doing the French edition today. Hydrate. So LV does a festive collection. So anyone who's into festive things, collector's items, anyone who's into collector's items will love their little pouches. Um, they do a pouch with Christmas themes on them, little people skiing and things like that, which is so cute for that festive person who likes to collect things and really remember occasions. I know a couple of people like that. So when they take it out, they love to take it out for winter and they'll always remember that Christmas. So the round pound coin purse retails for $375. It's super cute. It's not something I would buy, but this is a gift guide for people who love to be festive. If you want to invest in some Chanel, wow, some LV leather, the zippy coin purse retails for around $480 and has that same kind of look and texture as a lot of LV bags. I haven't always been a fan of LV bags. I go back and forth. There's some that I die for and there are some that I've seen before and you know, they're okay. I could take them or leave them. But if somebody in your life loves them, then that's a really cute way to go and they come in a myriad of colors. The mini pochette, which is basically like a pouch, comes with a little chain link. It's $310. I love of this pattern in LV. This is probably my favorite when it comes in grays and whites. It's really my kind of aesthetic. And the fact that it's got a little link chain, I feel like you could wear it with a nice silk kind of uh, dress. You could look really, really cute this Christmas with a faux fur throw over the top, darling. I found some incredible costume jewelry on LV. These bionic earrings, asymmetric earrings I am obsessed with. They retail for $430 and they are so stunning. LV, I don't know you release things like this. I need to go into your store more often. These are beautiful. And if you've got someone in your life who's really fashion forward and loves that asymmetric look and to make a statement, then I suggest these. These are stunning. And then I had a little scour around their costume jewelry again, and their price points are wicked cool for some really amazing jewelry pieces. My favorites include the nanogram necklace and it retails for $430. But the reason I love this necklace so much is because I love to wear both platinum because of my ring and gold accessories together. I try, I wear normally that um, Hermes um, pendant, which is gold on the rim and platinum silver not silver, but platinum, white gold in the middle. So I like to tie those two together. So I really like this necklace. It's kind of inspired and very, very cool. The essential V stud earrings are $290. And especially if you have someone in your life called Valeria or Valentina or Victor, if Victor likes to wear earrings, these are so cool. I mean, or maybe their surname starts with V or something, or it's Valentine's Day. I don't know. Anyway, Christmas. These are really, really cute. They're gold, they're chunky, and they're very beautiful, very wearable. The LV Angel bracelet retails for $330 and I love a chunky uh, chain bracelet or necklace at the moment. I'm obsessed with them. I love the angel feathers that this necklace has. It's stunning. The LV Confidential bracelet is $250. I never thought that you could buy LV jewelry for $250. This could be even like if you've got a best friend or something, a price point where you could get her something for that or maybe somebody who, I don't know, graduated. I don't know. But it's just a really cool Christmas gift if you really want to impress someone. It's very classic LV, very much their style. That gold and the brown leather, it's very much them. The Petite Mal bracelet retails $440 and this is if you want to go for that leather jewelry but impress a little bit more. That um gold 
link on the front is stunning. I am obsessed. It's so bougie. It's so gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think, but I love it. There are also a series of notebooks for around $190 and around this time of year for Christmas, everyone's making their resolutions. They're trying to change their lives. They're trying to be better people. Everything's going to be different in January. My resolutions are going to happen. I'm going to take over the world, 2019. And I feel like for that person who's like motivated, this would be so cool. It comes in so many colors. This is my favorite, but that's because I like that color, obviously. Um, they're very cool. It's for somebody who likes luxury, but at the same time is a mover and shaker and just wants to get things done. For the Traveler, for $250. For the Traveler, I make it sound like some kind of someone in a caravan traveling or on a ship across the seas. For someone who likes to travel, I love this rose spray set. It's so girly, so feminine. Rose is probably one of my favorite scents. If it's done right, and a few brands do it, Hermes is my favorite so far because they do that dewy rose scent. They do really good perfumes, Hermes represent. But this one is also really, really gorgeous. And the way it stands and just looks, I think Christmas is a time for giving gifts which are aesthetically exciting. Do you guys agree with me? It's just like, oh, it's under the tree, you know? Not a frying pan, Simon. The Nomad Ombre Travel Spray is like a more masculine version of the rose one. So you have, if you have a woman who's more into that kind of like dark aesthetic in their home, again, this, they all smell great. So that's not what we're talking about, but more like she'd be more excited about that kind of look. If she like kind of likes Tom Ford fragrances, then this is a really good one. And they're the same price point. And oh, one more costume jewelry. The Logo Mania Brace that retails for 330 and it's got rose gold, white gold, and gold look in it. So if you've got somebody who you don't know what color they wear, problem solved. I am here, Margarita from the Blonde Avenue to help you solve that issue. Anyway, guys, I have got to go and <laughs> go shopping in the Italian luxury store so I can bring you the gift guide for them. Let me know if you wanna see that. But until then, guys, subscribe, like, let's reach 10,000 by New Year. And it, you know, just, make me happy. And um, thanks for watching again. I love you guys so much. Thanks for everyone that comments down below. I love you lots like jelly tots.